Hoodie boy. Presenting. Here we go. Here we go. World of Goo Two. Greetings, people. My name is Andrew. We are playing this game. We are now in chapter four. There's only five chapters in total, so we're getting close. This is the distant future. All right. So we're doing all these TVs. We've already done tea time, gravity bridge. Now we're on a smoke-filled room. The world of Goo Seventeen, Black Stand. A smoke-filled room, Chapter One. Oh, this is. The city is filthy. Oh yeah. The night sky pours down rain like it has a personal grudge. The rhythm of droplets on the pavement echoes through the city's desolate alleyways. A mournful serenade to the lost souls that roam this town. The rain comes from above, but something else comes from below. A thick black sludge seeps up through the cracks in the streets, as if the city itself is bleeding its own filth and corruption. It'll stick to your soul, they laugh. But most people have long stopped wondering what exactly is oozing up through the ground. It's oil. Just another bit of filth to scrape off at the end of the day. It's oil, I'm telling you, man. It's oil. Private Eye Chief Banner. Cliff Spanner, private investigator. A Cliff Spanner. Got a mystery you need to unravel? I'm your guy. Oh yeah. At least I used to be. Oh, what is this? This is not the same game. Okay, cool. So, what's this thing? Smoke curls from the end of my sparkler, turning to ash on my desk. Smoky tendrils fade into the dank air. Oh yeah. Okay, so the rain beats against the office window. The only light is from the street light outside. Through the sheets of rain and the dusty blinds, the dim amber glow casts ghostly shadows across my desk. Wow, this guy's like depressing. Uh, okay, cool. So I don't think we have to be anything in here. Nothing else we can click on. All right, let's go to the door. The sign on the door reads Cliff Spanner, private investigator. Okay. A sudden knock on my office door shatters the silence. Oh, it's his office. I oh, gotcha. Yeah, come in. Yeah, come in. A woman steps into the room. Her silhouette oozes sensuality. Her eyes shimmer with desperation and allure. Her face is stunning. She moves with an elegance that seems to defy the grimy streets she must have traversed to get here. I catch a hint of her perfume, something intoxicating as she approaches my desk. I need your help, Mr. Spanner. There's something terribly wrong, and I don't know who else to turn to. Need a light? Need a light. Light? No. Need a light? Oh, oh okay. I you'd never ask. What seems to be the problem, Miss? Uh... Call me Effie. All right, Effie. What brings you? It's my brother, Rusty. Rusty Blackwood. He's disappeared, and I fear the worst. Blackwood. That name is familiar. Effigale and Rustwick Blackwood, right? You and your brother are heirs to the vast Blackwood Oil Company that powers the whole city. Tell me everything, Miss Blackwood. I thought I told you to call me Effie. My brother, Rusty. You see, he fell in with some sort of environmental activist. Some floozy named Misty. Misty? She filled his head with all manner of nonsense. She convinced him that the Blackwood Oil Company wrecked the city, polluted it, and that it was built upon the backs of exploited workers and a damaged environment. Can you imagine? This city would be pitch black without my family's energy. That's when I started noticing changes around the office. Incomplete reports, mysterious memos, Strange phone calls at all hours. I tried to brush Dude, it off. Dude, what the hell's all this about, man? This is boring. Right. Oh, Cliff. I have begun to suspect that my brother is secretly working with Sunshine Power. I'm gonna skip this. I just want to build bridges, man. Sunshine Power. They're that new energy company. Harnessing the sun's rays for cheap, clean power. Blah, right? blah, blah. Come on, hurry up. They must be a pretty big competitor for your oil business, aren't they? I can't skip this. Well, that's just it, Cliff. I'm clicking on random stuff, nothing's happening. Sorry, I'm ruining the story, but I'm not interested in it. In bed with sunshine power. I fear he planned to bring down the Blackwood Oil Company. 
You think your brother would destroy your family legacy? At first, I couldn't believe it. We're family. But the heart wants. What the heart wants, Cliff? The heart can lead a She's man smoking down a the sparkler. darkest alleyways. And your father? Does he know about this? Oh, come on, man. This My is boring. Hurry up. powerful man, Mr. Spanner. The sole owner of Blackwood Oil. And there's nothing that goes on in the company he doesn't know about. And if Rusty defected to a rival green energy upstart... Oh, Cliff. Cliffy. You don't think... I don't think... What? You don't think that my father would... In his displeasure... That he would have... Hurt my brother. Do you? I can't say, Miss Blackwood... Uh, Effie. Whatever happened to my brother, Cliff... I need to know the truth. No matter how painful. Dot, dot, dot. Click. Yeah, I'll do something. Brother, you go find him, the yeah. The truth has a way of revealing itself, even in the darkest corners. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Spanner. Yeah, piss off. We'll go look for whoever that is. Hurry up. Yeah, go on. Kick her out. Cliffy, please, bring my brother back. Oh, her brother, of course. Just go find him. Dot, dot, dot. The scent of Effie's perfume lingers in the air. Yeah, I don't care, mate. It is certain. This case will be my greatest trial yet. Well, the stakes the... are high, the danger palpable, but I am a private eye, born to the shadows. You're a douche, mate. Hurry up. In the face of darkness. I am Cliff Spanner, and I have a mystery to solve. Good for you. How do we do that? Okay, can I get out of this door now? We can. Alright, so we gotta go solve a mystery. We gotta go find this dude's, this chick's brother. Cleaner mops the floor. It's Fascinating. Well beyond working hours. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure someone had already mopped the hallway today. Oh, that's There's suspicious. Familiar about his weathered face, his tired eyes. Oh, dude, this is going to be a long, drawn-out conversation. Hey, you. Someone left the box for you outside. Thank you very much. Nod and continue on. Yes, let's go. Tonight, my mind Hurry up. To Effie and Effie alone. There's a box he said. The inky black night. A box okay. beside the door catches my attention. A note says, Come home soon. Love mom. Love mom. Inside are several goo balls. Goo balls, yeah. They see we're playing World of Goo Okay. So we just got four goo balls and Okay, well we finished the stage apparently, so let's just walk around here quickly and have a quick look. What's this? I ordered a hot dog and it came with these. You want them? That's a few extra balls. Can't go any further that way. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, what's this guy? Wait, wait, come here. Oh, no, that's where I just came out of. Okay, sorry, go back out. We check the box. There's a dude over here. Hey, man, you look like you could use these more than me. So he's just going to give me some goo balls. Yay. Is that it? Is that the level? That's just... Okay. I'm not interested in the story. It's a bit boring. So it's just eight balls. Is that it? And I got all eight balls. Okay, well I... I did good. But I don't really care about that level. Boring. So I think that's what it's going to be like. We're probably going to have... A... A mission, a mission, and then some stupid story. Okay, well, there's only three episodes, unless... I don't know. We'll find out. I hope these blue ones aren't all going to be there to private eye detective douche. Anyway, so this one is a smoke-filled room. Let's sip of the sour note. It is going to be that. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. That was a slightly different episode, or different... Um, it felt like a completely different game. Anyway, I'll see you in Paper Trail.